Hello, and welcome back to Tucking It Up. My name is Tuck, and I like to play around with makeup. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a get ready with me slash uh, recreation kind of deal today. So I saw this post on Instagram from Linda Hallberg where uh, she created this nice smoky eye using um, one of her crayons and then uh, some uh, eyeshadow from a brand, so I thought I wanted to do uh, something very similar. Um, I'm actually going to be wearing this out. Uh, in one of my previous videos, uh, I mentioned, you know, that my husband and I were going to go out on a dinner date for our anniversary, uh, but we had to cancel, unfortunately, at the last minute because uh, of weather conditions. Uh, so we're going to, you know, we remade that reservation, and so we're going to be doing that today. Uh, the weather looks great, so I think this time we'll actually get to it. So if you'd like to see how uh, I recreated this look, please stay tuned. So let me pop up the picture of that look again. Uh, so as you can see here, she has kind of a blue-green base that she smoked out, and then uh, on top of that base, uh, she used uh, a green sparkly eyeshadow. Um, so what I'm going to do is, while I love this the overall concept, um, I think for my, what I, the, I'm feeling like slightly different colors. I'm going to do a gold on top of black. Um, and so I'm going to use the Black Core Crayon from Linda Hallberg and top it off with the Aura shade from her Enchanted Mysteries 2 palette. Uh, it's, as you can see, I'll, I'll pop up a picture here. But as you can see, uh, it's kind of this really, almost coppery, but very warm, uh, darker gold color. Uh, so I love gold, of course, um, and you know, that I think on top of the black will look really quite nice. Uh, and the other thing is, I'm going to try something new today because I'm a little bit short on time. Uh, I would, I'm, I've never done this before, so I have no idea why I think it's going to be faster. But I'm going to, instead of a talk through sort of video, uh, I'm going to, you know, just do everything on camera uh, and then voiceover afterwards. Okay, we're going to start with my favorite no sebum blur primer from Innisfree. You know, just tap it uh, where you need it, especially in the T zone. For me, I also like to concentrate it in kind of right around my nose, and then I'm going to pat it in with a damp beauty sponge. Next, we're going to put on some foundation. I'm going to use my Buxom Show Some Skin and Dim the Light. Just tap it on with my fingers where I want the coverage to be heaviest. Uh, again, mainly T-zone center of my face. As you can see, I got some foundation in my hair. Don't worry, we'll fix it later. And then just using a damp beauty sponge, blending it all into my skin. So it looks a little bit more skin-like and not so uh, fake, I guess. Uh, and don't forget your neck and ears. And then for concealer, I'm going in with the same tip concealer. I'm in the shades 1 and 1.5. I take one, which is a lighter shade, and just dot it where uh, kind of I want some a lot of more brightness. And then just a little bit of 1.5 in those same areas, just to balance it out a little bit so it's not so stark. And then what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm going to also take a little bit of 1.5 and just spot conceal. Uh, I just want a little bit more of a perfect skin sort of feel. I'm warming up my fingers here before I use them to just start the blending of the concealer into the foundation and my skin. As you can see here, uh, I like to use you know my pinkies for the smaller areas. Um, and then I'm going to go in with a beauty blender just to blend out all the edges and make sure everything looks, again, more seamless and more like one cohesive unit. Uh, you know, go slowly if you want to, uh, which is kind of what I prefer to do. For setting powder, I'm using the shade Translucent from the One Size uh, brand, and I'm using a powder brush. I'm just using uh, pressing and rolling motions at first to set everything. Again, don't forget your ears and your neck, uh, especially the back of your neck because I put a tiny bit of foundation there. And then once everything is dried a little bit, then you can go in and start buffing like you see me do here. Um, and I, I'm fairly, I think, aggressive here. As you can see, I also put a little bit of powder on the eyes. I think that helps with the oiliness of my eyelids. To contour, I'm going to use the Infinity Deep palette and specifically the shades Light Urine Umbra. So again, just pat where uh, you want it to be most concentrated, and then blend, blend, blend. So here I am contouring uh, my nose slash eyes. Uh, I just, I, I kind of, even if I'm doing eyeshadow, I like to contour my eyes just to give it a little bit more depth. 
For highlighter, I'm going in with a mixture of solar and polar star, just dotting it where I want it, uh, cheekbones, bridge of the nose, chin, and then again, just blend, 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 blend. Uh, I, for my cheekbones, I like to bring the highlighter a little bit into my uh, just my brow bone area. And then for blush, I'm going to go in with Redshift, again from the Infinity D palette, and I'm just going to place it over where I put the highlighter, and then I'm just going to blend. And finally, to set, finish the base, I'm just going to go back in with that big powder brush with nothing on it. I want to de-emphasize my brow slightly today, so I'm going to go in with the ash shade in uh, the from the Brow Engineer product, um, and I'm going to start by combing it through, and then I'm going to take an angle brush to fill in and extend the tail of my brows a little bit. Nothing dramatic, I'm going for a softer sort of look today. Um, and yeah, as you can tell, I quite like how the brows turned out. Uh, so for the eyes, start with a tiny bit of translucent powder, uh, and just put that on the eyelids to absorb any excess oil, because my eyelids can get quite oily. And then going one side at a time, I'm going to take the black core crayon. You could use any black, like, eyeliner pencil, um, but I think the black core crayon is one of the best that I've used. Uh, just apply the color heavily on the lids, and then use a blending brush uh, or a pencil brush to smoke out the edges. Uh, and then as you're going along, you know, just make sure to check for evenness just to it's a little bit easier to make do it kind of step by step that way and then once you're happy with the smoke start on the lower lash line with the pencil the outer corner is going to be kind of thick and then you narrow as you go inwards and you stop about two-thirds of the way in i would say um and then as before just smoke everything out with a uh, pencil brush and be sure to drag the bottom color you sort of onto uh, the upper part of the eye and then blend out the edges with a medium and dark brown shade here. I'm using Light Year and Umbra. Again, sort of anything will do, but you know, I like those uh, shadows quite a lot. And so just blend, blend, blend. Um, and yeah, just keep checking, make sure you're happy with how things are going along. Uh, then take a black shadow, in this case I'm using Fornax from the Infinity Deep palette to intensify the outer edges. If the black on the lid is slightly patchy, that's okay because now we're going to go um, for gold. Do you see what I did there? So I'm gonna take the shade Aura from the uh, Enchanted Mysteries palette and using my finger, the middle is the best, for maximum impact. Uh, just gently press it onto the lids, concentrating in the center. Um, and then I'm blending out the edges of the gold with a brush. You could use a finger, but mine are kind of too fat and too big to, to use in this uh, situation. And then I'm just going to intensify the gold in the center. Oh, you can see I messed up a little bit, so I'm just going to go ahead and clean up with a bit of foundation. Same thing with uh, kind of how the shadow has crept up onto one of my brow bones more than the other. Just take a beauty sponge and foundation to the rescue. Then take gold uh, on a tiny pencil brush, concentrate most of it on the sort of inner corner, inner fifth of the eye, and drag it out just slightly into the black. And then I'm going to go in with a liner brush with more gold to just intensify and sharpen up that line. And then now I'm ready to tight line using black core off camera, and I'll be right back to do the lips. To start up the lips, we're going to use the Whipped Caviar shade from NYX. This is a color that's really quite close to my uh, natural lip color. So my lips are quite asymmetrical, and you notice that when I put on lipstick particularly. And so for my upper lip, I tend to overline just a little bit on the right side and then follow the natural lip line on the left. For my bottom lips, um, it's actually reversed, where I overline a little bit on the left side and then follow the natural lip line on the right. Uh, it took me forever to figure out like that this was actually the case and I used to be so unhappy without my lips look and I think I'm much better with it now. So to fill in I'm going to use the shade Flesh 3. As you can see I depotted it so this sticker wasn't really showing up but I just put that, uh, it's a brown rose shade, just take that on a lip brush and then fill in the lips. And I found it so, I used to hate lining my lips, but now I found it so helpful, you know, to have that guide. Because even with like this whipped caviar shade, I think it's much clearer um, where my lips uh, should be filled in. And then of course I set with the Scandinavia setting spray and flat, 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 but that really does nothing. And as always, let's end with an overview of the final look. And so we come to the end of another video. 
Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, it was a little bit faster for me to do this sort of, you know, voiceover style versus um, talk through, uh, just because I guess I didn't have to do multiple takes of me saying stupid things or trying to be funny. Uh, so, you know, th if you like this look uh, and you like content like this, uh, please be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Um, and I'll be sure to uh, include some pictures from, from our dinner. Um, and uh, until next time, bye!